Saudi Airlines catering to manage facilities for Red Sea Global and Oman's establishing a new economic city. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Saudi Airlines catering company has inked two deals worth $2.4 billion with the Red Sea Global Company for laundry, catering and facilities management for 20 years. SAC will design, build, operate and transfer a central production unit for catering and facilities management to serve RSG's employees at hotels, resorts and other facilities within Red Sea destinations. SAC expects the contracts to contribute to its accounts by Q3 2025. It saw QN revenue of $139 million, marking a 32.2% year-on-year rise. Oman is establishing a new economic city with two free zones. Kazian Economic City will sit in the Governorate of South Albatina. The integrated economic city comprises an inland dry port, free zones with tax benefits, logistics and warehousing facilities, and industrial, commercial, residential and mixed-use developments. The development is part of the Sultanate's economic diversification agenda in line with its Vision 2040. Bahrain has signed a strategic investment and collaboration partnership to invest $1.3 billion in the UK's private sector. The investment will be delivered via Bahrain's sovereign wealth fund Mumtalakat, Investcorp, GFH Financial Group and Usul Asset Management. The partnership also involves the UK's support for the diversification of Bahrain's economy and increased cooperation between the two countries in clean technology, manufacturing and business services. Bahrain launched its Economic Vision 2030 in 2008, aiming to diversify its economy and cut its reliance on oil. Oil prices edged up this morning after Saudi's announcement that it will extend its voluntary cut of 1 million barrels per day for an additional month to include August. Russia also announced it will cut oil exports by 500,000 BPD in August. OPEC Plus has already implemented cuts of almost 3.66 million BPD, representing 3.6% of global demand. This includes 2 million BPD agreed upon last year and voluntary cuts of 1.66 million BPD agreed upon in April and extended until December 2024. The UAE says it will invest up to $54 billion in renewables over the next seven years as part of efforts to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Officials say they're targeting a three-fold increase in the share of energy produced by renewables over the next seven years. Their focus will be on hydrogen as a source for clean power. Meta is launching a microblogging app this week called Threads. Threads will be Instagram's text-based conversation app. It will allow users to follow the accounts they follow on Insta and keep the same username. The launch comes after Twitter announced a slate of restrictions on its app, including the need to be verified to use TweetDeck. Musk's latest announcements have sparked a fierce backlash from many Twitter users. And Kabi Lame, known for TikTok videos in which he silently mocks complicated life hack videos, holds the title of most followed TikToker for the first half of this year, with more than 160.5 million followers. Since achieving fame on social media, the Senegalese Italian has been named a judge on Italia's Got Talent and signed a multi-year contract with Hugo Boss. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.